Pick up the button. All set for a start. Stand by. Proposed a toast as well behaved. Atlantic Comet standing up well. Raging Planet, Myron Shan just dancing about in the gate. Settles again. Right, they balance up this time and they're ready to go. Now Stutt is not happy with them. He's walking back, directing one of the attendants to jump in with one runner. I think it's Maron Shan. He moves over to pick up the button again. Set this time. Light flashing. Racing now. Proposed a toast near the inside and suit the office. Both begin very quickly. Raging Planet fast away. Big hug going forward on the outside and in top flight driving through into a pretty good spot early. Storm rising is next. Maron Shan drifting back. Aesthetic Ruler is back to third. Last just in advance of Forgotten Ruler and Atlantic Plummet is last of all. Settling down now and suit the office has raced away. Two in front. They've got a thousand metres to go. Suit the office two in front. Raging Planet running second. Proposed a toast is beautifully placed. He's a neck back third on the rails. One to win top flight. But over by Myron Shan, who's running fifth on the inside of Storm Rising. Further back, Ascetic Ruler, followed by Forgotten Ruler, who's well back in the field with Big Hug. And Atlantic Comet is last of all. They come down the side now. They've got about 6.50 metres left to go. Suit the officers making play out in front. Leads by a length. Proposed a toast is coming away from the rails. Coming after the leader, Raging Planet is a length away third. Followed by in top flight. And then Storm Rising on the outside. Ascetic Ruler is well back with Myron Shan. And then Forgotten Ruler and Atlantic Comet. Big Hug is wide on the track. They head for the judge now. 400 metres to go and Proposer Toast is making his move on the outside he's coming up to join suit the office and they're the joint leaders in top flight is a length and a half away third and Atlantic Comet is storming home down the outside Proposer Toast is just in front of suit the office it's Proposer Toast in front drawing clear of suit the office in the run to the line Atlantic Comet is charging home within top flight but Proposer Toast is too good Proposer Toast first Atlantic Comet second third in top flight followed by suit the office ascetic ruler next in storm rising uh, Raging Planet was well back and Maron Shan and Big Hug the last two over the line. Number five, propose a toast, 580, 210, seven Atlantic Comet, 360, three in top flight, two even. Number five, propose a toast to return six even and $2.20. Number seven, Atlantic Comet to pay 340 and three in top flight, 190. And when he came away from the rails with about 500 metres to go, you could uh, tell that he was going to be the one to beat. He loomed up on the outside of Suit the Office, got past Suit the Office and then had to withstand a couple of late challenges. But withstand them he did in the run to the line and proposed a toast beautifully written by Nikolic has been able to get the prize. He's a very good rider, Danny Nikolic, as we all know. It's well documented that he has problems with his weight. Some little time ago, he was doing a bit of riding out of the Thornhill Park establishment in Brisbane, Queensland. But uh, Danny decided to come back to Melbourne and try and get a little bit of weight off He's doing the best he can in that department, but still finds it difficult to get down to a reasonable riding weight. But when he gets one with his weight, believe me, he turns in a 100% performance all of the time. Danny Nikolic, a first-class rider. Proposed the toast is beautifully named by Raise the Cup out of Tip Top Lady. It's trained by Rob McGuinness at Corfield and was written by Danny Nikolic. It's raised by the DHK Investment Syndicate uh, in partnership with R. Benzel, M. Sprite and M. Hansky. Second place goes to number seven, Atlantic Comet. His performance was very good. He charged to the line at the end. He's by Atlantic Flyer. He was trained by P.F. Myron. was written by Michael Clark. And third place to number three in top flight by Veloso made of Skylast. was trained by Pat Highland. And was written by Patrick Payne. Time for the race is 123.3. 123.3 the time. We'll have the official dividends uh, finalised in a few moments' time. But here's the winner. Proposed the toast coming back towards the enclosure. Here are the totes in New South Wales. We have had to abstain. Still having a power to drive home. And I uh, think I might enjoy one after this, though. I'll give you the tip. Now, co-partner's coming along. Toad favourite at 3.30, Sentido. Co-partner's 9.50. Clearborn is showing at $5. Now, waiting on exotic buy. It was riderless. I think the... It may have been some gear change or gear alteration done as it moves up now. Exotic buy to complete the line. And they're all in now for the final event. Set for the last. Willoughby, the inside runner. Start of Shane Moore coming down the platform to send them on their way for the last of the Bendigo Cup Carnival for 1995. The lights on. Set and racing now. They've gone away fairly. Clairborn straight out the gate to the rear and Pandemonium Queen Willoughby away quickly and working up Family Charm with Kinder Girl. Sentido getting through to be about fourth early and behind it then Manor House over on the outside three deep is the Sunshine Boy. 
Claiborne going up on the inside of Exotic Buy. Back with it was Dolstad, second last co-partners. And last of all, as they work off the back section of the track, is Boz Castle. 1,200 metres out and Willoughby on top three parts. Family Charm, the Sunshine Boy, let's go now. And moves up to take the lead. Sentido fourth on the inside, three parts. Pandemonium Queen. A length away, Claiborne tucked away over on the inside there of Kinder Girl out three deep. And there's one in the centre of those as they work off the back. That's Manor House. A length and a half, Lady Sunita. And then comes Boz Castle on the outside of Exotic by Dolstad and last of all his co-partners eight off the lead 700 metres out and now Kinder Girl let's go to take the lead from the Sunshine Boy Willoughby two lengths in Tito over on the inside and now starting to make ground quickly as they run before the turn Family Charm beaten going past it Claiborne on the inside niggle that Pandemonium Quinn and Boz Castle and winding up our deepest co-partners on the turn from Lady Sunita and well back Dolstad and Ta Family Charm 400 out Kinder Girl about to be tackled by Sentito on the outside and Willoughby then uh, tracking through his Claiborne shown the whip behind them, the Sunshine Boy, Boz Castle and co-partners at the 250 metre mark, Sentito went for home, will it be about to get the second from Kinder Girl, winding up ladies co-partners down the outside Claiborne can't win but Sentito shot clear, will it be second, flashing home on the outside co-partners but it's Sentito in front near home and Sentito wins, Sentito by three to Willoughby, a head away third, co-partners gave them too big a start, Boz Castle next, Manor House and behind it then was Dolstad, Pandemonium Queen, well back now, Family Charmers run last, second last to pull up is Claiborne as the others now come back into view and they were uh, Kinder Girl, Lady Sunita, Exotic by Manor House and back with it was, uh, as I said, last of all, Family Charm. 392, 3 Santito, 350, 160, 9 Willoughby, 260 and 2 co-partners, 330. On the super tab, number three, Sentido, 330, 170. Number nine, Willoughby to return 290 and two co-partners, 320. Today, the final race by Centane from Logical Miss. Race by uh, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Eastgate, John Maher, the trainer. Very promising rider, Aaron Spatiri. We're going to hear a lot more of him. Another one coming through the John Maher School of Apprenticeship. Number nine is second, and that is Willoughby, written by Patrick Payne, given every possible chance by Ravenau from Sobriety Lady, trained by Peter Lafferty down at Warrnambool. And number two co-partners coming from near last on the home turn by Centane, also from Capel Lady, trained by Leon Corstens and written by David Taggart. 392 there, race nine Bendigo, and we'll have uh, the full list of TAB dividends shortly.